Close your eyes, find a good place to focus on the breath, and then try to stay right there. Try to keep the mind still. It's been used to moving around so much. That, that's what samsara is, moving on, moving on, moving on. We try to stop that process. So the first thing we do is bring things to stillness. And even though things in the world around us may still be moving on, we try to maintain this stillness in the midst of all that. We can't wait for the world to become perfect and still for us to become still. We have to start the stillness here. So we live in a world of turmoil. But as the Buddha said, other people may be in turmoil, but we're not. Other people are hungry, but we're feeding on rapture inside, sense of well-being inside. That can be our food to maintain our strength. And then we exercise forbearance. Other people may do things that we find offensive, but there are times sometimes when you have to lose a battle in order to win the war. Here the war is the war with your defilements. In what ways are you giving in to greed, aversion, and delusion, and to fear, things that lead to a wrong course? You have to learn how to pull back from that. And other people may do things that are offensive, but that's their karma. Leave it there. There was a battle one time between the Asuras and the Devas, and they finally decided to settle the battle with a debate. And the debate was on precisely this topic. Saka, the king of the Devas, was saying that a strong person shows forbearance even when weak people offend him. And the Asura king said, no, they'll, they'll see that as a sign of weakness. And Saka came back and said, even if they see it as a sign of weakness, it shows they know nothing of the Dharma. We know what we're doing. So how other people see us, that's their business. We have to make sure that we are maintaining our own inner sense of what's right and what's wrong, and doing battle with our own defilements, because that's what the real war is. The Devas beat the Asuras because of that debate. But the Asuras are never happy, and they keep on causing trouble. There's never going to be a time when this world is at peace, but we have to find peace inside. We're going to do that by maintaining our focus here inside, that this is what's important, this is where the real battle is. Because when you've won this war, then you've won the war that really counts.